What is going on everyone? My name is as you know Martin Nobel and today we're going to be looking at the Android N developer preview for the Sony Xperia Z3. So let's power it on right now. Now the first thing you're going to notice is when you turn it on you no longer have the black background with the white Sony logo. It's actually inverted. So you pretty much have the Sony logo just like the Z5 series. So that's how it looks when you turn it on. And you've got new Powered by Android, just like the Z5. It says End Developer Preview. And then you've got the X over here, which stands for Xperia. And it'll just go that way until it finishes loading. I believe this is the new boot animation that will ship with Android M devices. So as you can see, it has an animation. The, back, the backlit just changed. And then it finishes with going black. And then it goes to the home screen. And let's see it from there. Okay, so now we're at the lock screen. Let's just unlock the phone. And as you can see, you have the Google Now launcher, which barely has anything in it. The most notable thing is that you've now got new icons for Google apps, such as Play Music, Play Movies, and Play, etc. Now, looking into this device, well, one of the main features of Android N is the notifications panel. It looks completely, it looks a little bit different compared to M's. So if you just swipe once, you just have the quick notifications, but if you swipe twice, you got this animation which gives out more. And we also have the feature to invert colors. And that's how you see it when the colors are inverted. Now, when you go into the settings, we got no Easter egg yet, but when you click on the Android version N, you just get this. You can't press it or do anything. It's just the N logo. Just like they did an M for Marshmallow and an L for Lollipop. So that's something to keep caution of. Now it got there are some new features in the thing such as memory so you can see how much memory is being used in the phone at one time. So right now only 884 megs of RAM has been used. And the total memory you got 2.7 gigs. This is a 3 gig byte RAM phone. You also have tap and pay which is Android Pay. Now the settings are also a little bit different the way they're layered and then you got more f you can see more visible information without tapping it so you can see what Wi-Fi network you're on and you can also just like like previous versions you can see the battery life so that's the settings now the Play Store icon if you haven't noticed yet it does have a little difference, but otherwise it's the same. The camera on the Z3 is unfortunately the Android Lollipop or below camera. I don't know, I do not understand why, but still. And there's, there's no Sony apps in this version since it's a direct developer preview from Google. The messaging app is pretty much the same. It's not allowed because I'm using it from a guest account. And you don't have the option to record the screen either, so you can just power off, just like every other Nexus device. So that's pretty much it. Android version is N. Kernel version 340 Hudson Slave. Build number doesn't do anything either. You don't have any developer settings. But you can send usage info. So I believe besides this flat no new notification panel, that's pretty much it. This is Android M on the Sony Xperia Z3, which is actually the only phone besides all the Nexus devices that support this developer preview. 
If you have any questions, please leave it below. My name is, as you know, Martin. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.